Hi guys, <laughs> this will be just a short note on a Dream Source Lab logic analyzer I received a few days ago. And this morning I tried to connect it and test it. Uh, well, it's connected right now on one of my projects, which is a data logger, GPS data logger. And well, as soon as I connected, it started act very funny I was trying to I was getting a signals then I, I would lose it and I connected also oscilloscope as you can see here just to confirm I'm you no know, uh, the signal is real there but I just like I couldn't get it to work I tried and at the end I've I've taken apart dream source lab uh, logic analyzer I put it just naked here on a, on the table and it was still not working and I then I, I was not sure is my maybe one of my uh, you know chips on the board is not working so I tried like I've, I started desoldering I, I, I removed the this power supply then I've, I was checking the SCLSDA line for the I2C communication and they were okay so I removed the PIC uh, microprocessor I've tested, I've I connected Dream Source Lab uh, logic analyzer I've checked it with the multimeter and it, everything was okay so I was <laughs> there was no progress and I, it took me a few hours until I realized that there was something wrong with the harness they're using for connecting uh, logic analyzer to your board there are like 15 or 16 cables and well it it's, it looks pretty nice there is a there is a header beneath the sticker if I'm sorry if you can focus this so there's a header beneath the sticker here and if you remove it well there's nothing much to be seen basically uh, they've just put it in and I think they potted it with some with some gooey stuff it's well it's like a glue and uh, the thing is when I when I connected to UART lines and when I connected this to uh, I2C lines and I would like I would sometimes I would get the correct data but you know it it, it was not working properly and well my data logger was not also responding uh, it was not connecting to the server and and you know so i was not sure and after i changed these chips for new ones and i tested it only on oscilloscope and it was working and also i reprogrammed it you know i flashed it again i, I was not sure at the time um, then i i checked this harness and I'll, I'll do it again I'll try to do it so you can see so you can see it I will I will put my multimeter on ohms range sorry for the reflection but I think you can see it and let's test one of these lines there it's line I don't know can you see it it's line number three it's very neatly done and all the lines are numbered you have a ground cable so if you're if you're doing some high frequency stuff and okay um, so I hooked it oops I'll try to rehook it again I hooked it like this so let's check first let's check that this is working the multimeter is working uh, this is very hard to do it in behind the camera so yeah this is working but when you when you hook it like this well apparently this channel is working now um, let's try some other one well hi guys it's me again uh, when I tried to probe last time it was started working on me so I reconnected it again to a project I was probing it and um, it was working for a while like for 10 or 15 minutes and after that I 
I couldn't get the signals again and then I measured a resistance on on the on the cables on the harness they they given that came with the dream source logic analyzer and then again I think this is line number one yeah I don't know can you see it here I've connected I've connected these two probes directly to a, a multimeter and the multimeter is showing now 1.3 to 1.5 kilo ohms and if I try let me just put my camera down and yeah so that everything's visible I will keep the ground line connected and and I will try connect any other line so I don't know can you see this is here line number six or number nine I will connect it here and it's you know the resistance in mega ohms I will connect it back to line number one and it's again 1.37 kilo ohms and I, I've tried it several times with several different lines this is uh, let me try to get it to focus line zero so line zero I'll connect it so this is also in mega ohms this is fine but the thing is uh, you know the leads are sometimes working sometimes not working sorry that, that's why why it took me so so long to to find it um, I will, I will just try to show you the example I recorded the data when it was not showing good and um, this is definitely trap this is the f first time I see something like this on the logic analyzer usually uh, usually just it's such a simple device it works straight from the you know straight from the box and uh, I've shown you the example I was probing the same exact lines as the last time and I think I had the problem with line with the peak TX this the second UART line and you can see this line is now decoded correctly with my own I did this with my own cables and I don't know can you see it's can, can you see it so um, this line is recorded correctly and um, it's showing AT commands and uh, also the top line if you check it so this pick rx but the this line was okay in the first uh, in in my previous recording so did this is okay and just just the example of the i square c line as i square c line is correct you can see the clock stretch and everything is shown okay so i think this is this is fine so just to show you example what was wrong with the line when it you know when it goes low impedance it's uh, you can see this is a serial line number one and one packet of data is uh, visible here so you can see it this is the AT command AT GPS status and stuff like that so th this line is okay but when you check the line here this uh, takes line you can see something's wrong something's wrong with the something's wrong with the line and the trigger is not working on it uh, the the data uh, the packages you know are not correct when you try to when you try to compare them something's definitely wrong